Hello, it's Diane Roberts here uh, with another quick video just showing you um, how I cut out an envelope card the other night. I put this on my blog a couple of days ago and I was asked about the dimensions and I had a difficult time trying to explain how I cut this so I thought, you know, pictures a picture tells a, a pictures with a thousand words if I could get it out okay so um, this was the card this is what I called an envelope card and all it is is a, an A2 size card that is glued shut to make it look like an envelope but it's a card and then I made a, just a little note card a little thank you card to stick inside there and it will fit into one of our regular Stampin' Up! envelopes so you can see it's just a cute little card and on this one, I just used the Happy Watercolor stamp set and um, sponged all this area with a vanilla, very vanilla, no, 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 Whisper White, and used um, Crisp Cantaloupe to put in these images. Um, tonight, rather than showing a lot of stamping, I'm just going to show you how the folds go together so that you'll be able to make one. And I'm going to do it basically with um, Design a Series paper because that's pretty too. I'm going to be using the Venetian Romance and the Very Vanilla. Um, this happens to be a piece of um, natural ivory because I started this video a couple of times because I hit a snag and I'll explain to you how what happened but let me just let's get started and I'll show you how I cut out the card you start with one piece eight and a half by eleven cardstock and you cut it down the middle at four and a quarter so just trim it off at four and a quarter there into two the two pieces and then you score which I've already done you score it at five and a half Score it at five and a half, and then here we are on our usual rig, like a top fold, a top a top fold card is basically what you just put together, a top folding card. So what we're going to do is to get that envelope looking card is we're going to glue one piece on top of the other, and uh, go from there. Trim the sides down. Pretty simple. It was just kind of hard to explain. So um, let me put a little Tombow glue here. Sure it's free flowing. Yeah, here it comes. So we will glue this card together. The middle panel to the middle panel. There we go. I like the Tombow because it gives me a minute to make sure things are straight. So there we have our card. I thought I had a oh, I didn't bring one. Okay, so now that we have that, our next step, probably should have shot a little more glue here. Hang on one second. Get this corner. There we go. And this one. Okay. Now this is this is the part that I couldn't explain very easily. You take your stamp and trimmer, and what we're going to do is cut down. To make to make this flap and this flap so we're going to be cutting from you determine what's going to be the top of the card so if we say this is the top of the card we're just going to cut from the score line down to this corner so the easiest way to do that is to line up your score line with the gully of your stamp and trimmer and the bottom point of the card down at the the other the other end of the gully so you line them up oops this happens to me. I always have to do it a few times to make sure I'm exactly right. Hold that there. Hold that there. When you get this down, you can still see if you, you're, you're on. Okay. So we'll cut down one side. And now we want to make sure, I mean, even though I'm putting it in this way, we want to make sure we're coming from the top down. So we do it like this, top down. We'll, go, we'll put that that score line in the gully and this corner point in the gully like so and then cut. So there's the base of the card that just folds and what we will be doing is after we decorate the sides we'll just glue this closed. So what um, I've chosen to do is use Venetian Romance in the pistachio pudding color and on uh, very vanilla cardstock. So now I'm going to switch off from uh, from this piece and go to one that I've already started. And that, that's got a story behind it too. Um, what I've done is cut a piece of designer series paper as you would if you were covering the top of a A2 card. Cut, I cut this piece at four and a 
uh, four by five and one quarter, a quarter of an inch smaller than the size of the card. And then what I did was I cut a second piece measuring four by five and a quarter, and you cut this piece in half. But here's, here's the deal. When I made this one, I used Whisper White, and I could use either side because Whisper White is plain side. So um, you know, it doesn't have a different pattern, pattern on the other side. So I cut a piece of white and cut a piece of white. For instance, here, here are two. So I had a piece that would go this way, and I had a piece that would go this way. But if you have pat, oh, that's not how it goes. That that came off the envelope side. If you have pattern paper such as this, and you have two, and you cut this in half to cover your corner to cover these these flaps as you cut one in half one fits the other won't fit unless you flip it so in flipping it you have the opposite design not saying that's not pretty but that's not what I was trying to accomplish so when you're going to use the same side of a double sided piece of designer series paper you can't just cut in half as I did because <laughs> I cut I cut one in half for instance I cut this one in half and couldn't make it work and then I cut another one in half but what you really need to do is you need to take because I'm, I'm still if you keep cutting this way you're gonna always end up with the same side it's like the carpenter who says no matter how many times I cut it, it's still too short. It's still the wrong side. So what you have to do is take the side you need, and I know you people who have spatial relations in your head or understand this whole geometry of this whole piece. You need a piece that has the green side up, the pistachio pudding side up to be in this orientation. So in order to ensure I would do it appropriately, I placed this here and I know cutting this out this way is going to get me the piece I need for that direction. So I'm going to cut this from corner to corner right now and you, and be on, cam on camera. I hope I've done it right because if I have four sides going in the wrong direction, I'm done with this. I'm done tonight with this video. Ta-da! Okay, so there we have it. Um, so these I can save. This one and this one I would be able to save for this color, which I think might look very pretty on this. See, that was the plan. See, I really did have a plan for why I was cutting out the natural's ivory. Okay, so now let me just glue this in place in a couple of places, and we can finish up this card. Thank goodness I got the right orientation while I was trying to show you this design. It's got something, see, and when you were in school, they always told you, when will I ever use geometry? So all you math teachers out there are saying, see, we told you. So this is like, what, a right angle triangle or something? I don't know. I don't know what it is. So now you just, you, we're going to attach this. Glue all this in. Some glue here. And attach that side. And we'll put some glue here. The bottoms are closed. I'm not closing the inside so that I can fit the cards in. Here we go. So there we have that. And I thought for this design, what I would do is use the plain, very vanilla on the inside. I already cut that out. I used the um, Labels Collection Framelits. And using, I think it was the third one in, the size was the third one in, I uh, used very vanilla and just sponged the outside with pistachio pudding. I stamped thank you again. And we'll just fit that right inside the envelope. This one goes in a little smaller. You could use a bigger one. Um, if, you use one if you use the next size up, it will stick out the top, as you can see. But it may not fit in your envelope. But... We all have a handy envelope. I might. Yeah, it's very closest to being able to fit in the in the envelope. So what I would do, you could cut the bottom off flat, 
and then it would fit very nicely if you want a bigger top. But I thought this was cute, and then I don't have to write as much on the envelope. The thank you, the little thank you, or what's also cute is you could hold it on with one of our fancy clips. I just like the idea of a little note, a little thank you sticking out right there, and then you place it in a regular stamping up envelope. So that is how you make this. It's very simple. It's very simple. You just have the trickiest part is to ensure that you always cut a right and a left side of your flap covers. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you give it a try. Maybe you'll be able to drop me an email telling me, Diane, you went about it all wrong. We'll give you a faster way of doing this. Um, save all your triangles because you, I'm sure you'll be using them. Thanks. Happy stamping.